What is up everybody? Today I'm bringing you a mixed tier battle versus Aiden, who's somebody I found on Showdown. He said his team wasn't complete, but his team is full of threats. I mean, look at all these threats. And it's just horrible. <laughs> I decided to test out this team. I'm using a lot of Pokemon I never really use. I'm using uh, Lead, Infernape, uh, Gardevoir, Scarf Gardevoir. I'm bringing back Delta. Delta, he, he's in here. My Exedrill, Metagross, and a Mega Altaria. And we're going to go ahead and get right into the battle. So I figured that the best lead would be my lead Infernape, it's in the name, lead Infernape, since he outspeeds like most of his team, and I can go ahead and get my Stealth Rocks up. Stealth Rocks are like key, he has so many Ice types, so many Fire types, and that Charizard that's on his team, so I really need these Stealth Rocks up. So he goes out into his Weavile, he's going to start pressuring Mofos right here, and that's not good, he can't be pressuring my Infernape, so he's going to go for Fake Out just to get some damage off on this Infernape. I could have went for Mock Punch, but... I really didn't want to. I just wanted to go ahead and get this Stealth Rocks up just in case. Like, something happened. So, he's going to go out into his Malamar, which is not great. I don't, I don't know how much I can do to this Malamar. I don't have U-Turn, because U-Turn would just destroy Malamar. Because I'm just going to go for Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz. I, God dang it. Flare B Blitz. I need to learn how to talk. Flare Blitz. Since it'll do... It won't do the most damage, but I don't want my stats being lowered at this point. Well, he's going to go for superpower. Going to get me to 7%. Now, I could have went for close combat, but I figure Flare Blitz would be better since I can kill myself and not give him any more boost than he already has. And he's not going to take out this amount of mark just yet. So my Infernape does go down. He set, up, he, set, he set up the Stealth Rocks, which are great. And the superpower does not land, so he doesn't get the boost, which is also great. Because I'm going to go out into my Metagross. I kind of <laughs> regretted this play. Because I'm... I was wondering, what am I going to do versus this thing? If the bullet punch doesn't kill, then I'm kind of fucked here. So, the bullet punch does kill, thankfully, as the Malamar goes down. This threat is gone, which is great. As he goes out into his Garchomp, his Garchomp is a huge problem. I know it's Scarf because I did battle him before. So, I'm going to withdraw my Metagross. No, he's most likely going to go for Earthquake or Dragon Claw. I don't want to risk it, so I'm going to go into my Extra Drill. If he goes for Earthquake, I can just go into my King Fluff and just get some work done. As he actually goes for Crunch, which is actually a really good play. I mean, Crunch hits a lot of things on my team. I don't have that many switch-ins to uh, Crunch from a Garchomp. So, he does go for Crunch. He kills my Exadrill. Why am I saying kills? This is a kid's game. He knocks out my Exadrill as I can go into my Queen Fluff. This is not actually King Fluff. This is Queen Fluff. King Fluff decided to expand the family, found a wife. So, he um, goes out into his Charizard. And he just totally takes a whole bunch of damage from Stealth Rocks. Is my Queen Fluff is going to Mega Evolve here. Turn into... This is just vintage Queen Fluff right here. Queen Fluff is not like King Fluff. She is actually a special attacker. So she's going to go for Hyper Voice. And that's not going to do as much damage as I want it to. So I'm, I'm going to have to switch out my Queen Fluff. And I'm going to go into my Metagross. Since my Metagross is a Salt Vest. I was pretty sure it can live a Charizard wise flamethrower and I can retaliate with the um, bullet punch but this um this freaking Charizard Y comes in he predicts well he doesn't predict he didn't have to predict this uh, Mega Alteria really can't do much to this thing so he does go for the roost and I really can't do much to this thing now I can't go for a bullet punch or something like that so I was actually hoping that um, I would get a roll I was counting off the charts I was hoping out he would get a low roll. I can barely live, go for his in head, but knock it really, really low. But he knocks out my Metagross with a flamethrower, which is very unfortunate. So, so I'm going to go right back out into my Queen Fluff. Just to go for a Hyper Voice, get as much damage versus this thing as I can. If the Hyper Vo Voice does get it in, I'm pretty sure it's two hit KO range, but he ends up roosting again. He's not messing around with this thing. So I'm in a bad position. This Charizard Y is in here giving me a hard time. So I'm going to go for Flamethrower this time. Just because I know it can do more damage than, uh, um, than a um, Hyper Voice. As he goes for a um, Flamethrower of its own. So I just went with as much damage versus this thing as I can. So I'm going to switch out my Queen Fluff now. I know Queen Fluff has a lot of playability later on into the game. So I'm going to go out into my Gardevoir. As, he, um, as I can trace the Drought, it really doesn't matter. Drought is already up. As he's going to go for a Flamethrower. And my Gardevoir, I'm pretty sure my Gardevoir couldn't take this, but it takes it very well. It doesn't 
He takes it as, um, better than I thought he would. So I'm gonna go for shot, side shock. Show that I'm actually scarfed. And kill this, um, Charizard. I keep saying kill. <laughs> and I can take down this Charizard. And now he goes out into Weavile. I know Weavile is a huge problem. It's most likely gonna go for a fake out. But I, um, even if it does go for fake out, knock off Ice Shard. And I'm just gonna switch out. And y'all know Weavile is my own um, favorite Pokemon. Well, my, one of my favorite Pokemon. It's my mascot, so I'm gonna go out into my um, Delta right here. Delta's back in here, but he won't be living long. He won't be in here versus Weavile. He's just gonna get knocked out by an Ice Punch. It's the illusion that this thing is Choice Scarf is kind of shattered thanks to the leftovers being shown here. And he's just gonna go straight for a Ice Punch. And at this point, I know he's not running Ice Shard, because usually when they run Ice Punch, they don't run Ice Shard. It's, I mean, that kind of sounds very weird. So I'm going to go right back out into my Gardevoir, as my Gardevoir is Scarf. So, I know I can just, um, get some, um, how do I say this? Yeah, I know I can outspeed this thing, not worry about an Ice Shard, and just go straight for a Moon Blast. As the Moon Blast will be able to, um, hit, connecting, knock this thing out. So Weavile is a huge threat, he's a big problem for my Mega Altaria, and that's finally down. As now he goes out into his freaking light bulb. His why oh, do I forget the name of this thing? I, have, I just I just looked at it. I just looked at it. Why? I, I, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go for a moon blast, and that does a good chunk. But I unfortunately for him, I get a special attack drop as he goes for an ice beam. At this point, I kind of knew that this thing was um, like, why would it go for an ice beam? Was he predicting the switch? So I'm gonna go for another moon blast. And I unfortunately get another drop, so I'm gonna live that. <laughs> so he goes for another ice beam. I mean at this point I know this thing is probably choice, so I get I live with one HP, get another moon blast, and kill this thing. I'm just gonna keep saying it. F it. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know I'm not just killing Pokemon out here, I'm just making them faint. Is now he's gonna go out into his Volcarona. And this is another threat. Volcarona can quiver dance all over me. I was really, really afraid of this Volcarona. Is I can just go for a moon blast. And I'm just hoping for another special attack drop. And I'm like, come on, special attack drop, come on, special attack drop. But I actually get a crit. And I'm like, wow, this is this is kind of unlucky for him. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> As he's gonna hit me with the fiery dance. And thanks to it being this low, I know that uh Hyper Voice will be able to kill at this range because he's still in the red. So I'm gonna go out into my Queen Fluff. As I know that he has that guard chop, an earthquake would be able to kill me from at this point. As he's gonna go for a bug buzz and get a special attack drop. And as I kind of I kind of showed that my Queen Fluff can set up too, just like King Fluff. I set up an agility because I need to outspeed that guard chop. I know it's scarfed. As he gets some more leftovers. At this point, I'm just really hoping for a high roll because I know without a high roll. I won't be able to kill this thing, so I do get the roll, and I ki I kill this Volcarona. <laughs> I keep saying that. I'm gonna learn how to say this before the next video. As now this Garchomp comes out, and I know I can outspeed this thing. You do not mess with agility, Queen Fluff. As I can go for the Hyper Voice and knock this Garchomp out. See, look, we're working here. We got this. We get it. And that is a good game, bro. That is, this is actually a very good battle. I mean. Thanks for the battle. Thanks for watching you guys. And hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And again, thanks for watching.